Go ahead, Susan. Good day, members of the Energy Technology Committee. This has been a real learning experience. Um, I'm Susan Auslander, and I'm chair of the resident-led Meadow Ridge Resident Solar Committee. Uh, Meadow Ridge is a 350-person re retirement community located in Reading, Connecticut. In November of this year, we're very excited to throw the switch on a new on-property solar plant. This $3 million Green Bank finance project will yield about um, a megawatt or 20% of our electrical usage. And solar panels will be on the rooftops and on canopies over two parking lots. And over the 25 year life of the panels, it will save us $7 million in electric electricity costs. We stopped short of the current 26% limit on large installations simply because there was a limit allowed by the state at the time. Our project, while very exciting, shows that current law restricts similar Connecticut facilities from, from optimizing their ability to construct solar power plants. Our request is this. Our resident solar committee at Meta Ridge recommends increasing the current limits from 26% to 50% of annual power usage with a continued current 2% annual add-on. And such a change could significantly reduce Connecticut geo CO2 emissions into the atmosphere, which is a target of the governor. Our project's feasibility came from a grassroots campaign by Meadow Ridge residents you may have seen our story in the New York Times last November. Ownership and management finally approved of it because of several financial incentives. These include the 30% federal tax investment credit and an Eversource grant of 560,000 over a 15 year period. And it will be installed and managed for us by another Connecticut company, Vergy of West Hartford. Speaking of jobs, um, the senior residents in Meadow Ridge would like to leave a cleaner, greener environment for their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. I have two. And the project is a start in that direction. Now, would you please consider raising the, our cap from 26 to 50% for solar energy? And thank you for your time and attention. Well, Susan, thank you for your testimony today. Uh, I think we're all in awe of what Meta Ridge has done. Uh, they are an example to all sorts of entities across the state that ought to be proactive in considering being part of the solution, uh, mm -hmm. bringing on more solar for the benefit of all your residents, but also for the state more broadly. Uh, help me understand a little bit your uh, request to go from 26 to 50 percent, and I think you mentioned a 2 percent annual Increase. Yeah, we understand there's a 2% annual um, raise up each year uh, on the 26%. Could you explain that a little bit well, more in that's, terms of that's the legislation uh, why you feel it's necessary? Pardon me? I, I didn't hear what you said. Could you explain Correct. further why you think it's necessary to make that increase, but also to... To help re reach the goal of zero you know, emissions. And just selfishly, we have a couple of major size groups. I used to be chair of the building committee that need to be redone. And so we'll see how that works out. Um, also, there are like 20 altogether places like Meta Ridge in Connecticut, and some of them are nonprofit, some of them for profit. And Meta Ridge will be number four. And we're working on the fifth one up at Whitney Center up in New Haven. We'd love to get a look at that list of the other 15 or 16. We're always looking for low hanging fruit or the ability to emulate successful projects elsewhere. So also, thank you for I, I didn't us hear mentioned, uh, you know, you're talking about solar canopies. Excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but um, there's a Yale environmental studies um, study. <laughs> that um, mentions that if all of the parking lots in Connecticut were were canopied, it would provide like 47% of the 
state's energy demands at this point. I had a magic wand. I'd wave it and put solar canopies <laughs> everywhere. I think it's still in the mail. It hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you for highlighting the opportunity that we have across the state. Yeah. Not every impervious services, surface is created equal, but there's uh, a tremendous amount of opportunity. So again, thank you for bringing forward this particular example of a success, and uh, we hope to replicate it over and over again in the state. And, we, and I want to thank our senator and representative for um, Senator C.C. Moore and, uh, Sen and Representative Ann Hughes for giving me this opportunity. Well, I don't know if you can see her, but Representative Hughes is here. Just give you a double thumbs up. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're good. All righty. Uh, seeing no further questions, Susan, thank you for your testimony. No, thank you.